Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to A Mass Factorio with a Vacarumba, Mr. Stejo, and Mr. Bentham, also known as Mangle Bork. Mang Mangled Bork? Mangled Mang Bork. Oh. Yep. Mangled Bork. Bang Bangled Mork. So, how are you doing? Well, I've noticed that our stone up here is, have been depleted, so I'm going to redo all these. Oh, has it? Is it all gone now? It's all gone. That was quick. And those robots were effective. I know. They're good at their job. They really are. Perfect. They took our gerbs. <laughs> well, to be fair, they do it a lot better than we do. Do yeah. we have any robot solder? Are you suggesting that, we should, be, are you suggesting that we should be replaced by robots? Because that's what I'm hearing. Uh, yes. Yes, that's it's pretty. I mean, genuinely, yes. Actually, I think we should. If, if it's an honest question, yes. They don't sleep. They don't eat. They don't complain about their wages because they don't get paid. It's so cool to watch as they pick up all the alien artifacts. There's like waves of different colors. It's it's fantastic. I just noticed a bunch of stuff outside, so I gave a deconstruction order, and it was like a robot shotgun happened <laughs> from the <laughs> robot. It was grand. Well, I'm uh, I'm gonna start setting up kind of like a robot grid area to build basic stuff. Uh, oh right, right. So you're gonna be using the robots because I was thinking in this episode of trying to start automating the construction of the logistic zone expanders and charge ports. Yeah, I'll well, not in this kinda... episode, but in this group of things. Well, that, that's kind of like my idea. Of, like I want, like all these Bob's mods upgraded items. They kind of require you to have. Little upgrade chains. Yeah. So I'm so I'm using requester chests and passive provider chests so that, like, say you end up with a Mark III assembly machine and you don't want to use that anymore, just throw it into logistic network and the robots will take it over and it'll get upgraded. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I was actually thinking of well, if you're setting up like an upgrade chain, then I'll just start the 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 automated construction of the first in each chain, and then it'll just feed into what you're doing. Sure. Works. Where are you uh, setting that up? Let me just check you on the map. Uh, we don't have any... We have very little electronic circuit boards in the network. Is there any reason for that? We have 400... We have more robots in this campaign than I do in my own personal campaign, but they seem to not be able to... They're probably the working job over now. a much larger area. And we have them doing a lot different things. Things that you probably yeah. don't even want them doing. Oh, excellent. I'll shoot them then. <laughs> Just shoot them as they fly Don't by. Don't become a biter, Rumble. We know what happens when any of us turn biter. Yes. Wow. So Just these... go uh, get very salty, basically. So these purple ones are called acidic biters. What do they do? They shoot um, acid? Yeah, I was, no, I was gonna, they're not spitters. Was gonna... They're biters. Yeah. They, they, they bite acid. Bite acid. They bite acid. <laughs> okay. They inject acidic venom into your veins. Oh, right. I, will, I believe you. I think I think there's uh, one of the... Isn't the flame one not a spitter, but a biter instead? Oh, I don't know. Because I'm fairly sure that it was just literally biting walls and they were catching on fire. It's just, it's oh, just it applies its elemental attack when in melee, and that's the only difference, I, I think. Yeah, you do get the spitters, though. You get flame spurs. Oh, you do get flame ones as well, okay. Yeah. And flame worms. 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 I was, I was fucking waiting on it. <laughs> it it's called a worm. I couldn't even avoid that one, I'm sorry. It's just that that's just fantastic. It's a worm online. Ooh. Skyrim. Ooh. Apparently worm online's just had a, uh, had not a big update. Play, yeah, he's got um local server now. Private server it. That was a big thing. Ew. Yes. Uh, how many items can be selected with the smart inserters? Like, how many things can they filter through? Just five? Yeah, five. If you need to filter more things, you can always use the loop. Well, that's what I'm thinking, uh, because some of the gold is on top of the gems. Can't really separate it too easily. So I'm just going to bring it all back. You want to put some gems on the belt there, too? Out of curiosity, are we automatically producing any of the like um, logistics chests. Mm, don't think so. That's oh. something we should definitely get set up. Okay. It's only like a smart chest and a, and a circuit board. Yeah, but getting it built automatically is a good idea. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll work on that then first. Is my because uh, because then you project. can use 
you can use blueprints, you know, and then the robots will take care of it for you eventually, versus having to craft them all on on demand. Yeah. If you want to unload a bunch of different stuff from this train, then we could. Oh, actually, because the piercing rounds are in there, it end up taking those out. Isn't it fine with just this selection there, unsorted gemstone ore? Uh, no, that's a different thing. I think you oh. can you can tick an option and then you get that instead of the individual gems. Say that again. Um, I think there's like when you're doing the map generation, you can tick something and then uh, gem deposits. Oh, instead give you of that separate. Instead of... Yeah. Okay. So you need separate things here. Yeah. But we can only pick five, and there's actually six different kinds. You can just sort of split it between the different um, inserters, I guess. Man, this bus is just going. Yeah, the robots to that. <laughs> Instead of using smart inserters, why don't you get the robots to that? Well, we're just looking at unloading. Yeah, get the robots to that. We can't unload directly from a train, and we don't want to take the. Uh, the armor piercing ammo out of it. We can have a second second cargo wagon for the ammo piercing, armor piercing. No, it's fine. Um, use um, lasers? We got a load of oil over here, but it's not hooked up to anything. Yeah, well, that's because we had the, we've already built the, what are they called? The pumps? We can the hook pumps, it up when right. we need it. I think our oil supply is okay at the moment though. Well, regarding the bus, what are we doing with that then? Because that literally leads straight into these pumps. <clears throat> what are the plans? Plans? Indeed. Things you do in advance. Go ahead and make some. Make some plans. Go. My plans are not to have the pumps here anymore. Okay. Why stuff blowing up? Turrets are getting blown up. It could be some... I think some of the turrets out in the wilderness. They're out in the wilderness. Oh, okay. Turrets in the base. No big deal. From previous turret creeping where we abandoned them to die. They'd serve their purpose. We're not obliged to... uh, that's so harsh. Coddle them. Well, life is harsh. Who that? God, that beeping. <laughs> Kill it <laughs> with it's also, fire. Also, I need to increase the sound here. At some point, we need to turn all these alien artifacts into science packs, don't we? Yes. Is there anything else they used for? I meant to check the that that Bob's alien artifacts. Thing. Uh, they're used for research, and then they're also, I think, used for certain types of ammo. Oh yeah, that's right. So I'm wondering if I just like, just turn all of it into science packs or not. Yeah, I don't, I'm not so sure we're going to be using the ammo. I'll probably just do the science pack thing. That's that's a job for later. I think what I need to do right now is sort out grind wheels because the there's not enough ridiculously slowly. Yep. I need to make a, a proper array for them somewhere. Well done. Well, well done, me. Yes. Oh, for, for deciding I needed to do something. Yeah. I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to praise you. Otherwise, you might stop. I haven't noticed there's a couple of things around the base that use silicon. I was wondering if maybe we should make like a central silicon production and then have it delivered around where it's needed. Because there's bits all over the place. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Alright, I'll uh, just make a new one. Where are our belts? Over here. Well, someone's already made Alien Science Pack Production. Uh... Probably me. I think it was me. Seems like me. Oh. <laughs> I I'm take all the credit. Yeah, yep, is it a good, If it's a good thing, I'll take credit. <laughs> it does sound like Steejo, you're right. Yeah. Oh, well, there's no point taking credit for shit things, now, is there? No, not with that attitude. Um... <laughs> Titanium production appears to be dead. Yay! Uh, that I wasn't me. The issue is rutile. <laughs> I will track it down. I believe we only some... hooked up like one rutile mine, so we just need to move it. Yeah. I'll oh yeah, there's a bunch on mine over there. I will hook that up. Yep. I was really trying to convince myself I didn't care enough to make sure that I had the same belts as were on all of these lines, but I do. 
even though I've like got stacks of blue belts, I'm going to start requesting yellow belts just so I have the right color to continue the bus. Oh, just make the uh, just make the robots do. Yeah, yeah, they're bringing me the belts. It's just you know. Oh. I was trying not to be lazy, but okay. I failed. Uh, right now, I need some actual factories. Those are being very slowly made. Um, we need to get a lot more stuff added to the logistic network. I've got it set up so that as soon as Dejo hooks up his electronic logic boards and we get some titanium gear wheels and bearings being made, we'll have the assembly fives. Okay. Lab efficiency, very nice. And they shall be glorious. If we do advanced research, we can start unlocking some new science pack we stuff. We are capped on power. One thing no. that I, I noticed recently, because I'm playing Factorio just uh, off camera sort of thing in my own time, and uh, I've got a tiny factory. Really, you know, it hasn't, hasn't expanded like this one at all. But oddly, quite a lot of stuff gets done faster, despite the fact I've got far fewer research labs working on things. And it made me realize just how inefficient our factory setup is. <laughs> right it must be. Because I've got a factory that outputs far less that does things far quicker. Uh, we so, are you doing Bob's mods, though? Yeah. Damn. I was hoping I could invalidate <laughs> your whole argument. <laughs> the, um... <laughs> I'm afraid not. Our factory is just... There's something wrong about it. I'm, I'm not even going to spend the time to try and work out what it is, because this is just crazy. So what's the problem? The aluminum plate production is going to turn off eventually, because the bauxite mine is empty. So I just need to find a new source of bauxite. Does anyone know where any bauxite is? Um, I think there's there's plenty around because Arumba yeah. kept finding it when he was looking for gold. Yeah, <laughs> it's just there's look on loads the map. of it's, bauxite. It's, yeah. it, it's like a gold yeah, color. Looks like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some being mined in in the gold site because there was some there yeah. as well. Wow. Oh. At the moment, mm. it's just in a chest over there. We could ship it in. Fairly certain. Isn't there some within the walls that we've got currently? Could be. Or am I imagining that? Uh, no, no, that's rutile. You know, what's actually slowing down my ability to produce assembling machines is the the white circuits, Stijo. Just plain white, like the easy ones. Do you know where those are oh, made? Yeah, or why that's, mm. Do you know who's responsible for making those? Yeah, it's just it's just because it's a small setup that's here. Why does there's this sound like an excuse, Stijo? Not enough transistors because there's not enough silicon wafers. Yeah, I just sorted that. That's because Bentham's been using them to make grind wheels. Okay, so is your ratio fixed then? It's going to actually make things kind of well, or should I just do another white circuit area? Uh, that thing can be upgraded to 12. It's just there's stuff built underneath it now. Or I could just do this. <laughs> just use robots. <laughs> <laughs> For everything. Yes, yes, you could, and that would be really good, but... I'm a big fan of robots. No, we've you? noticed, No actually. way. Uh, apparently, I'm the only one who's noticed. I'm also a big fan of uh, god modules. Yes, I'm a big fan of god modules, not so much the robots. Robots are a little bit cheap. Yeah, that's what I feel. Especially, I think it's because Bob's mods, robots, get super cheap, super quick. Yeah. Well, do you guys want to do alien research? I mean, eventually we're going to need to use, we could do faster robot speed if we did alien research. Actually. Yeah. We don't need that, no. we just need the blues. Oh, the actually, you're blues. right, we don't even. Can we get um, battery too? There you go. We're going to need that for blue science. Or dark blue science. Yeah. I've not done dark blue science yet. Oh, no mind. We're doing logistic slots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dark blue science is fun. And by fun, I mean fucking woeful. I have some semblance of, of logistic requesting again. 
Because I keep just manually grabbing stuff, or just not bothering if I don't have the materials. Hello, Steejo. What are you doing? I'm gonna steal <laughs> some of this. Steejo checks up on Phantom. What are you doing? Phantom, I'm here to inspect what you're working on. Just follow him around for a few this, minutes and see what happens. This of carbon and calcium chloride is infinite, and therefore I can take everything I need from it. And this may turn out to be a problem later, but for now it's fine. Not sure about the calcium. The carbon stuff? Yes. Because Arimba made it in his usual Arimba way. <laughs> Are you complaining about me again? No, I, wasn't com I don't complain about you. Jeez. You do, though. Frequently. No, I don't complain. Mm. There we go. Looks like we've got a lot of uh, silicon wafers being made. Wafers? Silicon wafers, aye. Well, soon I'll. Oh, oh you've just you've just taken off the supply for the grind wheels. Okay. Yes. We need them for important things. Why? Oh, thanks. Like circuits. Like not gems. Like not gems. Fantastic. Alright, root tiles back. Good, good. Um, hmm. I'm not sure how I'm meant to do this. I need glass. I will find glass. Or I could request glass. So what are we you using? Request the, it. There's, yeah, there's glass being made. What are we using what? the logic boards for? Uh, nothing right now. They've just this second been finished. Although we will need to use them for the the better robots. So, Stejo, have you tried out using um, robots to deliver liquids using, oh, yeah. like, boxing it, boxing it all up and stuff? Uh, we're actually doing it just now. That was one of the things I've done last episode. Okay. So, I assume then that you like it? Yes. Yeah, it uh, makes a lot of sense because pipes are bullshit and I hate them. <laughs> it does. But it does how do you kind really of messy. feel? Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> but I, I kind of like it. I like it quite a bit. It's just it takes a lot of extra setup, and you got to use a lot of requester chests. Yeah, wow. but it's the same as doing anything with the robots, though. But yeah, it just it makes it does make more sense. Can we speed up the oh, electrolyzer twos? I mean, they have module slots. Because uh, someone put down sure. an assembly machine five to make silicon wafers. <clears throat> that was me. And th there's just not that. enough. There's not enough silicon coming in. Like yeah, there's, there's, there's a huge delay there's because there's not the enough iron line, By the way, guys, is it what now? Why is there bauxite on the iron line? Bauxite on the iron line. Fix it. I have no idea. I just saw it. It's probably just getting mined somewhere in the iron mine. In the iron mine. Iron mine. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the electrolyzer is slow. We don't have the next level of electrolyzers yet, though. Maybe get a second electrolyzer. Mm -hmm. Could do. You know, I don't think we ever actually did s steel on a on a belt. Like we've been making steel locally. Oh, steel's on, a belt. steel's on a belt. Yeah, it's part of the main bus. Really? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm pulling off it right now. Well, oh, um, the crazy. steel furnace icon. Hmm? Oh yeah, that's that's the thing that changed. Not point twelve point eight. Well, it's not just the icon. The actual item itself looks different. Mm, the yeah. icon looks silly. But the the, oh, the sprite the sorry. item looks good. Yeah, the sprite. It's all pipey and and in line with the art style. Oh, um, just for future notice, if you're gonna build the uh, electric furnaces, you should not build electric furnaces. Build <laughs> electrical, electric chemical furnaces, and then right. you have to manually set the recipe, 
But the reason why is that the electrical chemical furnaces are the ones that upgrade into the omnipurpose, faster, ah. better, yeah. stronger ones. Very nice. So okay. regular electric furnaces will end up just becoming useless at some point. It's so silly. Yeah, you should be able to upgrade either. There should be multiple recipes for it. Yeah. You know, they should add that to the base game, like the ability to have recipes that can use one thing or another. One in place of another. Instead of having multiple recipes. Well, that's just thinking outside the box. It's simply not allowed. It isn't done. <laughs> it's not done. Right, Indeed. I held a robot. Yeah, well, that, that uh, was just a yeah. robot talking. Don't worry about him. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we now have passive providers and request a chest being made automatically. Woo! We can expand it out to the others if we want to. Um, right now, I don't see that much of a need because they're the ones that we're generally using. Or is anyone planning to use a lot of storage chests or active provider chests in the future? Mm. Mm -hmm. Storage is always many? nice, but yeah. How many did you say you set as the, th the minimum? Sorry? How many is it going to make? <laughs> Um, I'm literally making the chest to store it at the moment, but uh, I imagine I'll just have like two stacks or one stack or something like that. So like 50 a, 100 of each, that'd be good. Use a green, use a smart inserter to limit the stack size. Yeah, Every, oh, okay. everything should be tied to smart inserters, not chests, because we have such a large logistic network now. Oh, right, okay, yeah, sure. Right, cool. Well, who brought us in? I think it was Shen, right? It was. So thanks I for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this episode today. We'll be back same time tomorrow to hopefully get some work done. Not like today. <laughs> hey, I've been working. I've been productive. We'll <laughs> so right. see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.